Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? On this channel, we upload two videos a week. One of those videos is a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this new morph market thing and whether or not I think that it's a good idea um, or if it's not, uh, based on my own personal opinions. So right before we get into that, I got two things I'd like to address very quickly. First one being, if you watched that uncut video I did a week or so ago uh, that about the, the girl who was getting bullied at school and she wrote that letter and she's getting a snake from us named Petal. And oh, I should get Petal down actually real quick. Sorry, I should have had that ready beforehand. Where's Petal? Petal, 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 there you are. Petal is a beautiful pastel blue-eyed leukistic ball python here. Look at Petal. Let's get a good look at Petal. We didn't get to see Petal last time. Let's take a look at Petal. Petal, there you are in focus. So beautiful and nice. Petal is a gorgeous snake. Yep, so there's Petal. Anyway, I really wanted to thank so many of you. I mean, that video had so many, so many beautiful thoughts and comments and things that you guys left and not not just comments and thoughts but support for Petal's new owner that 12 year old girl who's getting that snake and it was just beautiful to see how many of you guys came out not only with your uh, supportive comments but offering up your time your services your funding to just help this girl out in getting her first snake um really really appreciate all you guys and everything all the sentiments that were pouring out from that just I'm very uh, encouraged by the energy that was poured forth from all of you folks out there uh, in regards to this situation with this girl. So thank you so much. Wonderful. Couldn't have made my, my whole week was floating off of all that energy. So thank you so much again. Second thing before we get into it, I am shipping out a bunch of snakes today. Um, so I just wanted to give a couple little pro tips. This little screen thing is a great idea. You cut a, cut a hole in the box and then uh, just kind of attach a screen. Then when you close it, it looks like a nice professional little screen and you got good ventilation in addition to the four quarter inch uh, stab wounds that I give with a screwdriver. And this is a great week for shipping because it's not going to be too hot or too cold anywhere that whether it's the hubs or here or there. That was actually one place it was gonna to be too hot, so we're holding off on that one. But last part of the pro tip is when you're doing your boxes, when you're shipping multiple snakes out at a time, what I like to do is take the shipping label that I usually print out on a full page, and then I'll take all those labels and lay them out in front of the boxes, and I will write on that label the ID, which includes the sex of the snake so I can quadruple or quintuple sextuple check it before it actually goes into the shipping box as well as the morph so the last thing i do is take that snake make sure it's the right one put it in there and it's a nice you know warm fluffy package thing that i got here a little pillow fluff and a nice bag and some paper towels to soak up any pee that might happen put them on outside the bag and then make sure that i'm not sending the wrong snake to the wrong person and getting the right snake to the right person just a little pro tip that I thought you guys would appreciate because I appreciate little tiny pro tips like that myself. So I thrive on. Okay, to the morph market thing. So I mentioned that I would do an update on this in the video. It was the sharing of clutch 2301 or 2302. One of those clutch videos, I said that I was going to be doing this for the first time with morph market and I would give you an update on how it was going. So the feature that I'm talking about, the, the new thing with morph market is the ability to list animals as pre-established but have them for sale with the understanding that if an animal's pre-established it's available to purchase but not quite ready to go yet it needs to be established it needs to have meals it needs to maybe have even have its first shed and things like that and isn't ready to be shipped so the upside that i've seen to this is that you can get your animals on the market sooner and then you can have um, all those things get taken care of and, and established beforehand and you're not waiting to find customers until they've already had all the meals and they're ready to ship out that day, which is what I used to do in the past. And now you can have people um, putting claims on those animals and paying for those animals, which, you know, when I take a payment for an animal, it's not going out yet. I, I never take the money from the business account and put it into, I, I have a separate account for money that's coming from animals until those animals get to the people before it moves over from that account to the main account. I think that's a smart thing to do. That's what I would advise you guys to do as well because you never know if something might come up. Somebody might need to back out and you can give them their deposit back, you know, their money back minus your deposit or whatever your 
personal um, business standards are or uh, um, priorities, not priorities, I can't think of the right word, your policies, your, whatever your store policies are, you know, whatever your, and any of that. You have that separate account so that way if something does happen, then you can just, you don't have to go digging into the main account to give people their money back. That money's already in a separate account for animals that have not shipped out yet. Something I'd recommend whether you're using this feature on Morph Market or not. And then from there, sorry, am I talking too fast? <laughs> I had no coffee today. So that's the upside is the ability to reach customers before your animals are even ready to go. The downside is obviously now you have um, snakes that are paid for, but you're still, they're still there. And you still need to think about them a lot. It takes up some, maybe some head space or some, some thinking space or some brain space that you don't have space for, maybe. I mean, I don't know exactly how I'm able to do it because I do actually think it's cool and I think I will keep doing it. The biggest upside for me that I saw, which is probably gonna be a downside for lots of other folks out there, you know, we're a fairly small breeding operation. We produce, you know, about eight clutches a year on average at this point, which is really not a lot compared to some of the other companies out there. Um, very small in comparison, actually. So what I really liked about it though is that we seem to be getting a lot of new customers and by new customers, I mean, not only new to Triple B, but new to snake keeping in general. So this amount of time between them establishing that they're getting this snake to the time that they're actually going to get it is giving me enough time to communicate with them and making sure that they have all the proper setup and they know what they're doing. And they're going to be completely ready to accept this animal before they get it. And it's not like a last minute split decision and they're like getting the animal and then trying to get their enclosure and trying to get it all set up right all at the same time. We have this whole almost month or even longer, depending on how long it took to get their animal established, um, amount of time for them to get all that stuff set up and for us to communicate back and forth. I get to know them a little better, especially like in the case of the Petals owner, we've got to become like, I feel like I know these people now, which is really something that I like when it comes to selling snakes. I don't like my snakes to just go out to this random abyss. I'd like to really know where they're going because especially with newer folks to the hobby, that's like we're kind of stewarding um, goodwill and, and, and just stewarding good animal care to these new folks and having that time to go back and forth to make sure they've got all this stuff dialed in beforehand is great. And then it, even in the case of somebody like, there's a few of these animals are going to you know, established keepers or even other breeders at this point. And those folks understand themselves what it is to establish an animal and what that takes. So they, they have that patience too. So I think it's good for multiple reasons. You don't get impatient customers because somebody that's going to get an animal that needs to, that is pre-established, they're going to have to learn patience if they don't have it already. And I think that patience is one of the most important virtues or uh, mindsets you can have in this hobby because everything's patient. These snakes are slow. Things happen with them slowly. They, you know, how often they eat. Things are just slow. You know, if you're breeding, how long it takes to wait, you're like, it's not a rush thing. It, well, like, like me talking through this video, I feel like I've been rushing. But when it comes to the snake care, it's, it's a slow thing. You know, these animals do things so much slower than us. And I just think that that's cool because I think that that is something that's important when you're keeping for the snakes as well, is to have that patience. And I'd be like, oh, if it doesn't eat today, dang it. You know, if it doesn't eat for a week, you know, it's, it's okay. You can make the adjustments you think you need to make and you have time to be patient and not try to rush things and end up messing things up. So I think it's cool. I think they find, for me, I find the right customers for me by, by using this new feature. And I think it's something I'm going to continue to do and just at my own pace too. Cause like I've got some animals that I have not listed yet and they've had a couple meals now. So they're getting more established. I just haven't listed them yet because I'm still kind of working with these other snakes and these other customers, so it'll just kind of roll out naturally. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a third update on this thing and see how it's working because these are just my first couple clutches that I've used this pre-established feature on and um, maybe it'll end up going downhill and I'm just in the little sweet spot right now. It's working out pretty well with just these couple of clutches. Maybe I'll get to like four clutches that are pre-established and all kind of sold and spoken for and I'll be like, nope, can't, can't do that anymore. Do it, but I'll, I'll give an update at that point. But as of right now, uh, the upsides are weighing the downsides with the pre-established feature on Morph Market. So if you haven't done it already, um, I'd recommend trying it for the reasons I said or recommend not trying it for the reasons I said if you think that that sounds horrible for you personally. So yeah, that's everything I had to talk about today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, excusing me for not having a video last Saturday. We was out there doing a lot of stuff with the family and we get back to our regular posting schedule for the rest of the summer. So Hope you guys are doing great out there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.